Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to No Tube. It's trailer reaction time. I'm with the lovely Christine. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Sam. How are you? Fine, thank you. And on the menu today is Gladiator 2, Electric Boogaloo. This film is about almost 30 years after the original. I think the, first, the original came out maybe maybe 30, 28, 26 years ago, something along those lines, definitely in the 90s. And um, this movie stars Pedro Pascal as well as Daniel, as, uh, Daniel D Denzel Washington, and the dude who played the electric guitar in the most recent uh, series of Stranger Things. Okay. Oh, okay. You ready to rock and roll? I am. Okay, let's go. Can you hear it? Yep. I remember that day. I never forgot it. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Did you hear that crowd? The greatest temple Rome ever built. The Colosseum. Because this is what they believe in. Power. <laughs> General Acacius, there are victories yet still to come. Rome has so many subjects, she must feed them. They can eat war. The arena turns slaves into gladiators, the gladiators into free men. You have something in you. I knew it from the start. Did you now? Rage. That rage is your gift. together and when it charges break for the wall whose head could i give you that would satisfy this fury the entire roman armies too much the general will do Human beings in the Rome must fall. I need to only give it a push. <laughs> we'll make it out alive. All right, all right. Tears on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum door. This ring belonged to Maximus. Now I give it to you. What is the dream of Rome? Blood stains. The people are not free. I was on. Now I will control an empire. I will not waste another generation of young men for their vanity. Strength and honor! This is our own creature, Nero! Stands on the mausoleum floor. Blood stains the Colosseum doors. The gods! Oh! Spoken! All right. Um, there we have it, Chris. <laughs> now, you want me to start or shall I regarding how I feel about this trailer? No, go ahead. I really hope the movie is better than this trailer because this trailer absolutely sucks fucking balls. Like, the musical choices for a start did not work for me. There was There was a theme with the music in the first film which really captured... The essence of that movie, I'm not getting it at all with the with the fucking hip hop tracks that they're playing in this. It just feels so out of place, and I just feel like we've already been here, done it, worn a t-shirt. I don't necessarily feel there's a progression. It's like we're more like going back to the well. They're using the they want to make a film in ancient Rome, so why not instead of making a unique project, let's latch onto something that we were that was really uh, really uh, done really well in the past. 
Gladiator and let's make it Gladiator 2. Obviously, Russell Crowe can't be in it because his character died. And I do think the uh, I do think Caesar's wife was in, her sister was in that. I think I saw a shot of her. Sorry. But over, yeah, but overall, though, I'm not impressed. It could have fucking Denzel Washington in it. It could have Pedro Pascal in it. It could have the dude from Stranger Things in it. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I just wasn't buying what I'm seeing. Now, there have been times where the film has been so much better than the trailer. And usually trailers tend to be uh, better than the movie, usually. <laughs> So I, I'm hoping this is the other way around, but not impressed whatsoever. And I actually thought this film was a joke when, when I heard about Gladiator 2. There was lots of memes about it and and people were making like AI fan films and shit like that. It was I didn't think this was real. Now it is real. I wish it wasn't fucking real. But I really hope once again it's better than the fucking trailer. All right, Chris, on to you. Um, we already knew if they're gonna do a Gladiator 2, it's gonna be a rags to riches revenge i mean that's just a given right but then they put out a trailer that basically when i watch that i watch the whole movie and i i don't want that why would i go watch the movie now i've seen fight scenes uh i've seen the villain i've seen the hero i know the villain's gonna die i already know i hate him because he's he just looks and acts ridiculous um the one thing i liked about it uh, historically, they did fill the Colosseum. Pardon me. They used to fill the Colosseum with water for some fights and, and ships, and and to reenact some Roman victories uh, that way. Okay. So that might be interesting. So I'll give it that. Yeah, I just I don't know. I just. Like this is this is like like something that's happening in Hollywood quite often now. They're making sequels to movies like 10, 20, sometimes 30 years later. And uh this is no different. I, I just It's for money. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I look I just I hope I hope it ends up being really good. I I really do. But pff, this the only this, thing I can see is if and I doubt people haven't seen Gladiator, the first one. But I think they're hoping that because it's been so long, this generation hasn't bothered to see Gladiator, the first one. So this will be like the first one for them. But why and would you so, want to see a sequel? Right? If not seen the, why would you want to see the sequel without seeing the first movie? It, well, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I got a bit confused on who the... like who, like. All right, it looks like like Denzel Washington's playing the Oliver Reed character, I think. Yeah? Maybe yeah, like the, the gladiator boss. Yeah, so to speak. But who is the gladiator himself? It could have been one of two guys. It could have been Pedro Pascal or this other dude. And yeah. The guy from Stranger Things has looked like he's playing Joaquin Phoenix's character um, by the looks of things. It so, was hard uh, to tell with all the makeup. Yeah, yeah, I picked it up straight away. Uh, who, who the actor was? Unfortunately, the, the name escapes me. But it seems to, it seems that we have two protagonists. Maybe one of them was always a gladiator. One of them was always a slave who fought in the ruins and whatever. And then the other one maybe kind of like was Pedro Pascal's character, like a general or whatever, who got who ends up as a slave, like like um, Russell Crowe's character did. That might be the case. And is the other the, the other character not Pedro Pascal's character but the other one the son of uh of uh Caesar's like the nephew of the nephew of Caesar like you know his sister's son is, is Yeah, that... I wonder I wonder was he because a lot of uh gentry for lack of a better phrase back then would yeah. also become gladiators. So is he going down that road? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But um, overall, are you impressed with what you saw? You saw. I'm mildly intrigued. Mm. I just wish they did a better trailer to tell you the truth. I think this like fucking you you want to entice people who've seen the original, and a trailer like this is not going to this is this is made by some like new age fucking you, YouTuber who's like making trailers now and thought yeah let's let me use some mumble rap bullshit. Yeah, fucking, 
to represent this trailer when they should have gone more with the Hans Zimmer type uh, tunes and stuff like that to really resemble. It doesn't resemble fucking the original movie in any uh, at all. Or the best parts of the original. Because I like that music, just like I agree with you, not for this movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, then, well, um, we'll I guess we'll see. It comes out, I fuck knows when. Um, let me have a quick look. Uh, when's it coming out? November the 22nd. So, wow, uh, that's a while. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be maybe a Christmas movie. They're probably banking on it uh, for that p- particular period. But non-Christmas movies coming out during Christmas don't do as great as Christmas movies during that particular period. We'll see how it goes regardless. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, the reviews of this movie before I go to see it myself. I really... Keeping my fingers crossed. I want it to be good. The yeah. trailer was fucking shit. All right, thank you very much, Chris. And to everyone out there, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Nerdtube, the greatest YouTube social media channel you've never heard of on various platforms, including TikTok as well as YouTube. Take care now. Bye-bye. And if you've already forgotten, the name is Nerdtube. Remember it.